Hey guys, so we are back in my kitchen. I am just watering my little basil plant. Look at it. It's actually coming along. I'm excited. I haven't killed it yet. But don't mind my wet dog appearance. I just jumped out of the shower and I figured I would just let my hair air dry because why not? But I'm about to make lunch right now and I wanted to hop on here and show you guys I made like the best salad ever yesterday and I want to make it again for myself today. So I thought I'd go ahead and do that with you guys because if you're following along on stories, I did post it. It was bomb.com. Okay, so for the salad, we're going to need some roasted turkey breast, some spring mix, some tomatoes. These are Marzano tomatoes, which I personally like better than grape tomatoes. I'm gonna need a cucumber and some Parmesan. This is like my favorite Parmesan. This is the Frigo Parmesan cheese. I will literally just like snack on pinchfuls of this. It's so good. But I found the big tub on sale. And then we're gonna need the Trader Joe's Olive Tapena. This is really, really good. And I found this the other day. This is what we're gonna use for the dressing. This is pesto bitchin sauce, you guys. It was delicious. This is my favorite. This is like officially my favorite. It was so good. But in order to turn that into a dressing, we also need just a little bit of red wine vinegar and some olive oil. So let me move you guys over and we'll start assembling this. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the dressing. I'm gonna need the pesto bitchin sauce. I'm just gonna take a generous scoop of that. Then a little olive oil to thin it out. And then just like a splash of red wine vinegar. You don't want to do too much. But this is going to give it like a nice tartness. I think a little bit more. There we go. And just kind of give it that more like dressing consistency. And then just like mix it up. And I just kind of eyeball it. If it looks nice and runny like it does right now, then I think that it's good. Then to start assembling the salad, first off is the baby spring mix. Spring mix is like my favorite kind of like lettuce mixture. Do a good couple of handfuls of that in there. Then I'm going to load up on some chopped roasted turkey breast. This is just like the kind that you find in the deli aisle. Then some diced cucumbers and some sliced tomatoes. Then if you guys have been here for a while, no surprise, we're going to load up on some olive tapenade. Just, you know, no fear. Just scoop it all in there. And finally, so much Parmesan, you're going to question my sanity. Okay, so there's all the ingredients. And then, I mean... We're just assembling a salad here. It's not like rocket science, but uh, just drizzle some of this dressing right over everything. Don't waste any of it. It's so, so, so good. And the only thing that I wish that I had for this salad is onions. I didn't get any onions, but like I feel like red onion would be really, really good in here. So if you guys have red onion and you're going to make the salad, I would definitely say to add that. But then we're just going to go ahead and mix it all up. Make sure you get a nice, even coating of this dressing everywhere because you're going to want to taste this dressing in every bite. It's the best. Okay, and there we go. That is like my new favorite salad using bitch and sauce as dressing. I'm extremely excited about this. And then to complement this salad, I'm gonna have it with some of the Trader Joe's garlic hummus and pretzels snack pack. And then of course some of GT's strawberry lemonade kombucha, my favorite. But for today, I'm just gonna like eat this and clean myself up. And tonight I do have another virtual girls night. So I'm excited and I wanted to make myself a treat for that. So if you watched the last vlog, you already know this, but we're going to make some banana bread tonight. I've never made banana bread before in my life. And we're not an egg household. Once in a while, Trevor requests eggs, but I don't really eat egg that much. Like I don't hate egg. I just like, I don't get the hype around it. it the egg's like okay to me. So I had to look up like a vegan banana bread recipe because I'm not going to go out to the grocery store to go get eggs when I just went to the grocery store a few days ago. So we're going to be doing an eggless banana bread. We're going to do two loaves, one a chocolate chip banana bread and one a blueberry banana bread. So I'll see you guys a little bit later for that. Hey guys, so I just blow dried the front of my hair. Seriously being like so lazy. Literally only styling the front, but I can't do with my nails 
any longer. I had taken the dip off of them and I just like, I can't stand staring at them. And then this one is actually coming off so my hair is getting caught underneath it. So I need to go over them and paint them and I'm being so stubborn about taking off the dip. I just, I don't want to because I don't want to lose the length on my nails and the dip is what keeps them strong enough to be this long. So I put up a poll and I asked if I should paint my nails peach again all over or if I should do black and black one out so that's what we're going to be doing today because I need to just like cover this up so my hair stops getting caught underneath also this nail is bending because the dip isn't fully attached to help keep it in check so hopefully a couple layers of nail polish over the top will help it out but I got some improvements since the last time I did my nails so hopefully these will turn out a little bit better but I got some emery boards I think I showed this in a different video and then this is the nail polish that I'm going to use this is sinful colors black on black and then I actually got a damn top coat. This is the Sally Hansen Dries Instantly Top Coat. Got some paper towels too, and uh, we're just gonna get to painting and hopefully this will be a lot better. Fair warning, if you are new to my channel or you didn't see the vlog where I did my nails before with the peach, I do them very messy and then I just wash like the color off of my skin later on. So be aware, this is probably gonna look pretty bad. Hey okay, guys, and we're back. God, it took like 40 minutes to file my nails. I don't want to cut them. I just want to like file them down in length and just shaping them and everything. That was a beast. Literally just took so long, but I think I'm getting better at shaping them. Like I feel like they're looking pretty good. So as I mentioned, <laughs> this one is like popping up right now. And because of that, it is making my nail bend. So <laughs> Oh my god, people are gonna be like, you are so stupid, but you know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm gonna take a little bit of super glue. <laughs> I'm just gonna glue this sucker down. Literally don't care anymore. I just want to make sure it doesn't keep bending my nail. That's all I care about at this point. And you guys, I know that this is wrong, honestly. I don't mean for this to sound really rude, but I just like, I don't want to hear it. It's like really, really, really freaking painful whenever this nail bends and I just, you know, desperate times, like I said, desperate measures. I'm sure acetone can take that off later on. That or my nail girl is gonna kill me when I finally see her again. You guys are like, she is the craziest person ever, but <laughs> so many of you are probably watching this right now being like, just cut your damn nails. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, cause here's the thing you guys. My whole life I've never been like a nail girl. I always just, you know, had my nails looking tragically natural at all times. I usually tried to keep them short. And I always wanted long nails but I never wanted to have acrylics and dip wasn't a thing back in the day. So really it was either acrylics or nothing. And so I always like lived with these like really just basic looking nails. I tried things like press-ons, but press-ons, it would come off on the bottoms and then your hair would get stuck in like underneath the nail and that would like hurt cause you'd pull out your hair and stuff. And like, I was never good at actually doing my nails on my own so I just kind of always lived with like really like not impressive looking nails and I always envied girls with like these long beautiful nails so when I started getting dip powder I like actually had really nice long nails like I do right now and I just like I'm not ready to give that up I just started doing that a few months ago I'm not ready to let these go I've been growing these out for like the last few months and I'm not I'm not ready so that's why we're doing it this way as dumb as this may look with me freaking whipping out super glue and stuff but that's my justification right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my nails. Again, we're doing black, and we're actually gonna do a top coat. And then I, did I show you guys this? I went through two emery boards because like the dip powder on my nails is so thick that it just took so much work to file them down. So I went through two emery boards. And like the reason why I went through the emery boards is because they kept getting soft because my hands were sweating so much that they would just like, get soft and like not even be able to stand up against like my nails to file them so I had to keep switching back and forth so took two memory boards but again I'm I'm happy for the most part with the shape that I have and ooh this is good this is nice and secure now she ain't going anywhere perfect because like I said that was getting painful whenever my nail would bend and also my hair constantly getting caught underneath that was not fun so yeah okay we're ready Hey guys, 
So we're done. I thought I was gonna be able to say like, I did such a better job this time. Or at least like, this hand looks so good, but it, it they did not. I mean, this one finger right here, that looks good. That looks pretty, pretty decent for my skill set. But yeah, these look horrendous. But that's okay. Cause like, you know, when I'm waving my hands on camera and stuff, you won't be able to tell that much. I just won't show you guys product close up with my hands. <laughs> but no, once I wash them in like hot water and stuff over the next day, anything that's like, ugh, we're gonna get up close here. You guys are gonna be like terrified, but anything that's like all over the skin right there and stuff is just gonna come off. Then I'll just be left with just like what's on the nail. So it'll look better in about a day or so. But I did use some of this Dries Instantly Sally top coat. So hopefully this will help my nails a lot better than before. But yeah, did the black that everyone voted for. I like it cause like the bubble where my dip powder ends is a lot less obvious than when I did the peach. So it just like looks more solid. It feels weird because it's spring and it's like almost going to fall right now and I was gonna do like these really pretty pastel nails and now I'm like black <laughs> so like I said earlier we are gonna do a vegan version of this because I don't have egg although it's not like a hundred percent vegan because I almost forgot I am gonna use actual butter but basically so we have butter I'm gonna use both brown and regular cane sugar some all-purpose flour a little canola oil some salt baking powder because I can't find baking soda, a little sugar, and then some ripe bananas. And I will put the link, with, oh my god, my nail. <laughs> okay, anyways, I will put the link to the recipe down below if you guys want to try it out, but I am modifying it just a little bit. I actually forgot that I don't have vanilla extract, so we're just gonna do it without. And then I almost forgot that I am gonna make two variations of this. I'm gonna split up the batter at the end and I'm gonna do one with some semi-sweet chocolate chips and then one with some blueberries. So first things first, you wanna mash up the bananas. Let's see how these are. Ooh, these are perfect. I had to put them in the fridge for like a couple of days because they were getting way too ripe, way too fast, but now this looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and break all of these up and we'll mash them. And I'm gonna mash them and I have this very handy meat masher that I'm gonna use um, just a reminder you guys I am making a batch of for like enough for two so keep that in mind so you guys will see like double the amounts of ingredients in this video but if you're trying to make only one loaf cut everything I'm doing in half I think that this is good. I don't know how mashed you're supposed to get, but I'm tired. A third cup of oil. I'm gonna do two of these, because I'm doubling it. One third cup. That's huge. Really a third of this? Oh, actually half of this is a third cup. Okay, so that's already a double, perfect. That's correct, right? Yes, that is correct. Wow. Again, I am not a baker, like ever. So I'm supposed to mix all of that. I just have wooden spoons. I would love a silicone spoon, but I don't have one. So I need a third cup of pure cane sugar. I'm gonna do one of it with the regular sugar. And then the other half of brown sugar. I like how I never bake like i'm not a baker and i'm already just like modifying this recipe like i know better than it so i need two teaspoons baking powder two i need a half teaspoon of baking soda but i don't have baking soda so what is the baking soda to baking powder substitute so the recipe calls for one teaspoon of baking soda you need to use three teaspoons of baking powder so i need to do one and a half teaspoons Actually, crap, I'm doubling the recipe. I forgot, okay. So I would need three. This three is for the baking soda. Oh my god, I'm using up so much of this. <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster. Then I need two more teaspoons of baking powder. Oh my gosh. Again, not a baker. Oh man, this 
is going to be so bad. And then it says a pinch of salt, so we'll do two pinches of salt. It says mix well, but don't over mix. Oh my god, the flour. So it calls for one and three quarter cups of flour. There's one, two, and six quarter cups for double of three and three quarter cup. Oh my God, my brain is correct. I, I know that it's correct. What I just did is correct. It's fine. Do you guys have a lot of faith in me? Cause I don't. And don't over mix just enough until the flour is combined. I would say that we are there. Is that a good banana bread consistency? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm definitely not gonna be like the baking type of mom. I 100%. My kid is getting store-bought sweets at all times. I just want to make sure all the sugar is mixed in because I keep seeing pockets of brown sugar. Okay, I think we're good. So now I need to separate this into two bowls. And this is why I don't bake. Like, I feel like it just takes so much. The kitchen is a wreck right now, so, like, I feel justified in the fact that I never bake. I don't know what half is going to end up looking like here, but... We'll guesstimate, I think like that much, or more like that much. Does that look even? I guess, right? Okay, in this one I'm just gonna do a bunch of chocolate chips. I'm not even gonna measure it, I'm just gonna throw them in. Is that enough chocolate chips? I feel like I can do more. I feel like you can always do more chocolate chips though, you know? Okay, we're just gonna make this super chocolatey chippy. I should have been preheating the oven the whole this whole time. Wow. I I am not a baker. A hundred percent. Why I thought I could do this is beyond me. I was like, oh, everyone's making fucking banana bread, so I'm gonna make fucking banana bread. I'm gonna move some of the batter over because I want the chocolate chip loaf to be the bigger loaf. I think that that's good. Okay. Now I'm gonna set this one aside. And I just realized because the actual Recipe never called for the butter. I never ended up using it, so I'm gonna put the butter away. So this banana bread is in fact vegan. Except though, I don't know about the chocolate chips. I, I don't know. But the blueberry one is for sure gonna be vegan. Oh my god, these blueberries are so huge. Mmm, they are really sweet. It's gonna be delicious in here. And let's just fold her in. So I have two of these little bread pans greased up. Start off with the blueberry one. Yeah, this batter's a little bit thin. So this is definitely a smaller loaf. Oh crap, I forgot to mix in the cinnamon into this one. That's fine. I'm just gonna do it in the pan. Oh my god. This loaf's gonna be way bigger. Yeah, I did not divide this up evenly. Whoops. Okay. Cover this one forgot about cinnamon. I'm just gonna mix her on in. Do like a cinnamon swirl here. These were significantly different in size. One is not gonna cook evenly, 100%. I am gonna put some blueberries just right on the top here. And then I'm actually gonna go over with a sprinkle of cinnamon sugar. Give it a good glaze. And yeah, so then once the oven is preheated, I'm gonna put these in. I believe they need to bake for. Okay, so they're gonna bake for 50 minutes to an hour at 350 degrees. I think I'll do this one for 50, this one for an hour, just because this one's so much bigger. Oh, and there we go, just kidding. So, oh, that's hot. So pulled out the blueberry cinnamon one right now. Just checking to see if it's done. No, it is most definitely not. Wow, okay. These are gonna need a lot more time on them. I knew this was gonna go wrong. So both of those need at least 10 more minutes. The big one will probably need at least another 20. 
Okay guys, let's try this again. And for anyone wondering, all of this stuff underneath here, um, Trevor cooked a steak, so that's what all that is, but. Came out pretty clean. <laughs> Still a little bit on there, so I think I'm gonna pop this one back in for another, I don't know if I should do five or 10 minutes. Do 10 just to be sure. While we're waiting for the banana bread that will never bake, I wanted to give you guys an update on these liquid IVs. We just tried the lemon lime one together today and Trevor really loves it. I really like it, it's really, really good. So if you guys are interested in these, again, these are like supplements that you put in your water to help hydrate you. I do have a discount code for 25% off of your purchase. I'll have all of that stuff linked down below, but he plans on bringing this with him to work because he is an essential worker right now. He's working at Home Depot doing a lot of the stocking so he's like needing a lot of water so this is definitely helpful for him at work but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know the lemon lime super super good let's try this again for the love of god please be baked all the way through okay blueberry Ugh. all right we're good it's baked oh my god Okay, so putting 10 more minutes on the clock for the chocolate chip one, but we can put this one to the side. This one's gonna be like really good for breakfast with just like some butter, maybe a tiny bit of maple syrup dripped over. Oh my God. And the chocolate chip. Beautiful, just chocolate coming off perfect. Okay, so there are my banana breads. We have a chocolate chip and a cinnamon blueberry one. Excited, we're gonna let these cool. I'm gonna make dinner, probably gonna have this one for dessert tonight. Ah, I might have a slice of each. But for dinner, I'm just making some pesto pasta and some chicken nuggets, so nothing exciting. But we'll see you guys a little bit later. So, just got back from the liquor store. I grabbed my favorite beer, Lazy and Space Dust IPA. And now I'm gonna cut up a couple pieces of the banana bread and we'll try this out. So here we go. I put some butter on the blueberry one because that sounded delicious. And then I just left the chocolate chip one plain. Let's try the blueberry one first because I'm actually more curious about that one. Mmm. That's good. Oh, with the butter? This is a good breakfast. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Yeah, with the butter, that is so good. Okay. Going in for the chocolate chip. That's nice. I did good. I am so surprised because as I've mentioned, I am not a baker at all. But this worked out very well. I'm pleased with what I've done. But for now, I'm going to crack open a beer and go play some games with my girlfriends. So it's the afternoon and Trevor and I are about to go head out and shoot like a couple of Instagram pictures for me. I need to shoot these perfumes for a brand. And this is the outfit that I'm wearing. I'll show you guys really quick. Don't mind the floor. I have a ton of laundry on the floor. But I have on this hat from Urban Outfitters. It's like a dupe for the Lack of Color Rancher hats. But these are like $34 instead of $100. This tank top from Target. This is my necklace from State of Mind. The uh, Louis Vuitton lock necklace. And then these mom jean shorts from BDG Denim. I have been wanting to try their denim. I'm going to do like a full review video on their denim. I have these pair of shorts and then I also got two pairs of jeans from them, but I'm going to test them out over the next few days, just kind of like at home around the house and let you guys know my thoughts on BDG Denim. But yeah, so this is the outfit for the first look. just want to give you guys a little look at it because I actually look 
pretty cute. I look put together. I don't look like a slob. Feeling kind of great. <laughs> just finished taking photos. Just did this one for a thumbnail. What are we doing tonight for dinner, babe? Tell them. Dim sum. We're going to do homemade dim sum night tonight. I think we only have two kinds of dumplings. Are you okay with that? I don't care. Okay. We got a bunch of He doesn't time, care. <laughs> okay, just got done and I'm back in my comfy clothes. It's so hot today, you guys. Like, I was roasting. There was sweat literally whenever I took off any piece of clothing. There was sweat marks on all of them. So definitely getting into that hotter season when we do finally get to break out and actually go shoot out in the world again. Changing in my car. <laughs> I do not look forward to it. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm gonna clean up a little bit, then we'll get started on our dim sum dinner. Getting dim sum night started, we have some char sweet bao buns, toasted sesame oil to cook everything in, some chicken cilantro mini wontons, Trevor's making us some white rice, and then for veggies, we're gonna cook up this miso vegetables kit. So here's our little dim sum, homemade dim sum night. Um, just some rice, I love it, with a lot of soy sauce on it. Some um, pork buns, the cilantro chicken wontons, and then this is the miso veggies. Hey guys, so we're going on a drive. There's no puppy in the back seat because Trevor hates him apparently. He didn't let us bring him. Rude. Why do you hate my dog? I mean, you have a mythical dog, so Shut what's okay? <laughs> my, my dog, dog Spartacus. No. You're trying to have a new dog named Spartacus? Oh my god, he's clearly my dog okay. because I would have wanted to bring him. So that makes him your dog? Yes, because I love him more. Your reasoning skills are just Because awful. I want him to be happy and get new smells and explore instead of being cooped up and you just want him cooped up. So, I want to be able to dog, know that everything is 100% so that we can take him tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay, so we drove to the Balboa Fun Zone just to walk around a little bit and take our walk here. There's already people here, which is like great, but it's like people, everyone's but, yeah. very like spread out. some seals. Would you like to tell them what the seals were doing? R, 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 R. Oh, R, R. really? You're, you're gonna do it cooler now? R, 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 There R. you go. <laughs> but now we're gonna go get me my favorite salad. Trevor didn't want anything, but we're gonna go pick up from uh, Gourmet Greenleaf Chop Shop some lunch for me. Hey, sweet. Got my Greenleaf Gourmet Chop Shop. Alright, here's my salad. This time I added some salami to it, but yum. And then this is like a pesto vinaigrette that's like yeah, super, good. super good. It's really, really good. Then Trevor got, are these the fries? No. Okay, Trevor got Burger Lounge, a little cheeseburger. And then he got us some fries to share. Thanks, babe. Ooh. For the price, it better be good. Hmm. Fries are okay. Be better with blue cheese. Yeah. Done with lunch and Trevor is napping right now. So I'm just downstairs. I decided I'm gonna watch Julian Hunter's new video. They posted an hour long spritz and chips. Come on. This light, I swear. Come on, turn on. There it is. Oh my god. 
Anyways, so they have an hour long spritz and chips up. And I decided that I felt like I wanted to whip coffee. So I'm gonna whip up a coffee. Oh my God, the kitchen's so bad. We never cleaned it from dim sum night last night. And then now like the Sally container is out and like it's a mess, but whatever. And I already filmed this once. So I'm not like gonna go through all the steps to making this, but I am like so full from lunch. Seriously, that salad like fills me up every single time. It's crazy. I really wish I had like some flavored syrup to do with this because like this would be so good with like a shot of vanilla. And you guys, I think the secret to this, honestly, is like the coffee needs to be piping hot. I think that's how you get it to whip as fast as I got it to whip because I I was like watching some videos from like people who like kind of had failed with coffees and it honestly looked like the coffee just wasn't hot enough. Like mine, when it came out, it was steaming. So I think that that's the key if ever you're planning on trying this. So like this was boiling in there, just a heads up. That's like how hot you need it to be. But yeah, I would bet money on the fact that people weren't like getting their um, coffees to boil. And that's probably why it wasn't whipping up fast or it was taking like 15 minutes to whip. So that's just my theory. I could be wrong. Maybe I really just am super, super good at whipping coffee. I don't know. Yep, it's still going quickly. It's already looking up. Okay, I'm there. This took a little bit longer, so another pro tip I think I've discovered with this is to use a bigger bowl, just because the only reason why it took longer was because I had to keep stopping because I was getting tired because I had a smaller space to whip in. Um, this is a much smaller bowl than what I used the first time, so that just like took more energy out of me than last time and I just had to keep stopping which made this take longer than it needed to so I would suggest whip in a really big bowl and make sure that your water is piping hot and that'll be like the trick with this okay I think we're ready wow this is super thick I, I don't know why I'm so continuing to whip this is really thick this time we're going to use the appropriate amount of ice cubes because last time was a fail as far as making it iced went Three cubes is definitely not enough. And I like mine pretty milky, so I'm gonna get a good amount in there. Okay, so it's much later at night and I'm watching New Girl. It's my favorite show ever. And I was gonna cook, but I just didn't feel like it. So I ordered some stuff from this place called Sam's Crispy Chicken. I've never tried it before. Here we go. They just did contactless delivery. Excited. All right, I'm excited to try this. I'm hoping that's not spicy now that I'm thinking about it. Cause I'm seeing there's a little pepper right here, but hopefully it's not, but ooh. So I got a chicken bites and waffles combo. Looks really, really good. And then this here is their mac and cheese. Oh my God, and it's got like these crispies in it. I'm so excited to try all of this. Okay, so mac and cheese. Mmm. Mmm, okay. This is good mac and cheese. Yes. Try the chicken. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. Yum. It's not spicy. Perfect. And the fries. Mmm. We were good too. But I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for this vlog. I'll see you guys on the next one. I think tomorrow morning we're gonna make waffles, so. That'll be on the next vlog, so make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure to also like this video for more vlogs, and um, I'll see you guys then. Hey, hey, you don't beg. You're just gonna, you're just gonna sit here and just watch me eat. Hope I got something. It's rude.